team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Nick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Texas A&M Aggies. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Aggies should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. First of all, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Next, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. And lastly, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Inside for two, and he missed. That basketball. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? It's good. Inside, in the paint. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. High post player flashing. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. He drains the bucket. They work the perimeter. Bland handles the pass, tries for two, perfectly executed. <laughs> Trying to pack it inside, turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon, nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Goes up for two, and in and out. Can't get the shot to drop. Cross court. Lucas handles the feed. He lets it go. Penn State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. He'll regroup the offense. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Ten on the shot clock. That's a foul. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Hey, a few more of those. He may wind up on a bench. Haywood steps to the line for the first time. First one, good. Makes the second. He gets them all. as though they have a shooter spotting up. Another turnover. And they're not talking out the turnovers either. Chapman receives the ball. Gave it up. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. The Aggies have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire.
takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The point guard receives the pass. There's a double team waiting there. And a momentary look from three-point land. And now they'll bring it up. Ten on the shot clock. And again, they look to run. Jumps in. And he scores despite the hack. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. perimeter our three-prong attack tonight ladies and gentlemen I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline he throws it up from downtown he nails the shot and the low block great pressure great double team really explosive Defense taking away any open looks. Off the rim and no good. The shot from the baseline. The Aggies to find a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Good fake. Pump fakes. He tries the three ball. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Joe's patience waiting for the reset. On the inside, he pump fakes. And the slam. They scored seven in a row. Down in the low close, defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help solved. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Double team now. Bad angle. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Here's a flash from the high post. He up fakes. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Steals a pass. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Turnover. Fast break possibility coming. Hammers it down. <laughs> Dick.
the skip pass is picked off. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Now the high screen. He shoots from the baseline. Bland is emotionally fired up. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nice fake. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. Way off target. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. It's a Hubanda foul. He showed good concentration around possession, Brad. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with a cheerleader. Now that's a spectacle. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, with those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Moving it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. When I hear Big 12 basketball, I think tough defense. Half court, pound the ball inside offense. Hey, teams like Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma are usually up top of the standings because they can play that style. They work the perimeter. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. He shoots from outside. Makes the shot. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. See that one again. Good job defensively. They just won't get many open. Pressure in the basketball. On the dribble, gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. He's trying to fire himself up out there, Brad. I think he's trying to inspire himself to turn things up a notch. He is fired up. He takes a three. Texas A&M are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Brad, before the game, the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early. Now that this team has, the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. All right, thanks, Erin. For two, they still don't score. Scorches the net. On the outside, gave it up, trying to draw the foul. And he scores it off the glass. 
Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Entry pass in the paint. That spin moves not, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Working it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Tries for two. Texas A&M are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. In the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Jumps into the defender. The lay -in. Went away from the post and goes the other way. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the dribble, gives it up. They're off into transition. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Team. Stolen away. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looking for the foul. Sinks it. There's a double team waiting there. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Three. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Picked out of the air. They work it around the perimeter. 
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be drawn, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. You don't see plays like this every day. Looking for a good shot. Dick, they're doing a great job offensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Now they work it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. There's the fake. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Tough to pressure this kid. He's got great handle, man. And I love the way he's always looking up the court. They work the perimeter. Opportunity for two for one away he gets the shot to fall takes the pass in the paint looking for contact basket falls despite the contact moving it around the perimeter he makes a nice shot fake Hard foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Shot clock is dead. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And he'll kick it back outside. He fires it up. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. At halftime, the Aggies lead by nine. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? In my opinion, Mr. Nestler, this trifecta is what set the tone for the offense in the first half. It represents the deep arsenal of threats this team has to offer. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Texas A&M shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. He's got a nice shot fake. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Drips him clean. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. The center gets the ball. He gives him the fake. He launches the bomb. Way off target. The point guard gets the pass. 
Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribble. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. The post flashes up high if he wants it. He shoots from right of the circle. He nails the trifecta. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket, Penn State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. He looks for the bomb. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Well, he's on fire. the steal and they do he's got hops like you man he got hops <laughs> like you yeah, it is pretty similar ah, I didn't realize my partner was a high riser <laughs> defense giving no room looking to move it around the perimeter obvious foul oh and you can tell by the look on his face he wasn't expecting the whistle on him wow look at the facial expression he says me Here's a flash from the post up high. Fires it. Makes it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. He gets the bucket. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Aaron's right about that. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. The Aggies are ahead by 13. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. He goes to the line, shooting two. You, you can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football special situations. You got to be able to execute there. Second shot, good. Leans in. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Layup, son. I'm telling you, Brad, you can have a field day against these guys. Let's put a uniform on. Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. Let's blow out City. Makes the shot. Set that screen away. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The Nittany Lions have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. And a momentary look from three-point land. For the deuce. Entry pass in the paint. The fake. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby.
for two. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Fakes it. There's the trap. Kicks it out. Takes the outside jumper. Drains it. Working it around the perimeter. The center with the ball. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. For two. And in and out. On the outside, got a guy right up on him. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. That's worth another look. Executed. There they come with a double team to stop it. Takes it off him. On the outside. He shoots from left to the circle. Goes in. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. Here's a double team. Robs him of the ball. On the dribble, gives it up with the fake. He shoots from the angle. He drains it. Picked out of the air. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. In the paint. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. Up and inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits it. They work the perimeter. Got the high pick. He puts it up. Not this time. From the top of the circle. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Stolen ball. But he puts pressure on a defense. What a great point guard. I love point guards that can really attack the defense. Penn State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Gets it back out. Tries to get the D to bite. For the deuce, he buries the shot. 
He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. The Nittany Lions are behind by 11. Takes away the pass. They work it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the arc. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. draws a foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands, and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief. Guys? It's good. Tries the three. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Post flashes for the bucket. Whatever's left in the tank needs to be used, Dick, and it needs to be used right now. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Too physical. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Gets the first shot. Gets two at the charity strike. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. What a great strip. Trying to draw some contact. Finger roll. Steals the ball. He hammers it home. Moving it around the perimeter. For two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Steals the pass. Another turnover created by Great D, Brad. Gave it up for the bucket. And he missed. And he scores despite the hat. The Aggies are ahead by 16. The power forward takes the feed. There's a double team waiting there. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. 
Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Jumped in front to take it away. Goes up for two. Great shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from the angle. Rims out. On the outside. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Shoots it. Gets it to fall. That's a 10 nothing run. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they change things up a little bit, Brad. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. That's 12 on answer. There's the trap. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. Kicks off the lazy pass. Up fake. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that it really it's tough to deny him the ball. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. Well, it's simple. He came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. Fakes a jumper. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Nittany Lions have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brady's on fire. The power forward takes the pass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Great defense. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Got it! Intercepted. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He steps up to the line. Sinks it. He sinks both of them. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Hold on. 
on, let's see that again. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass tries for two unbelievable look at that post position he can't get a piece of that baby Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He shoots from long range. That was nice. They work it around the perimeter. Picked off. He shoots from the top of the key. Scorches the net. Wow, the screener took a lick setting that pick. Shot. He is super. He really is. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. Turn around jumper. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. He comes up empty. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestler, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. The Aggies played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.